Hi everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to properly complete your workbook assignment for LearnKey Lesson 1 in Microsoft Word 2019. The first thing that I would like to draw your attention to is the assignment in Teams. So for the assignment in team, it says uh, you were to download the attached file. Now I included the student workbook in teams as a backup for you. However, if you were following along in the learn key assignment, you would have noticed that it was really not necessary for you to download the workbook because it gives you the workbook pages right there in learn key but i wanted to make sure that you had access to the workbook in case if you forgot where to find it in learn key now if you were going to download the workbook from teams what you had to do was you had to click on these three dots and um when you clicked on the three dots you will see where it says download you would click on download and then you would have to go into your downloads folder to open up the workbook. Now let's go over to the learn key side. So in order to access learn key, you had to click on the word 2019 associate. And you would have seen all of the domains here. And we started with domain two, insert and format text paragraphs and sections. So I'm going to click on that. And here are the lessons. The lesson that I am demonstrating today is lesson one, introduction. So I'm going to click on that. And just like I mentioned earlier, here when I click on the workbook, it takes me directly to the workbook page that I need to work on. So as you can see, just like I said before, this over here in Teams was just a backup for you in case you forgot where to find the workbook in LearnKey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize my Teams right now. And I'm just going to stick to the workbook page in LearnKey. So just as a quick recap, what you were supposed to do first is you were supposed to look at the video first. This is what you were supposed to do first. By looking at the video, it will help you complete the workbook assignment, okay? You will find that after you have watched the video, when you go into the workbook assignment for lesson one, you will see that it is the same exact activity that the, the gentleman in the video demonstrated for you. So if you watch the video, the workbook assignment would not have been a surprise to you. You would have already seen it being completed in the video. So I'm going to click on workbook assignment. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the page bigger. So there is this arrow right here. I'm just going to click on the arrow to minimize the panel. And then I'm just going to make this big like this so that I can read. Okay. Also, before I go any further, for the video reference, one more time, if you forgot where to go, all you had to do was go to the videos and then click on starting a new document. Let me show you what I mean. All you had to do was go to the videos, just like this. Let me put her on pause. And here is the video, starting a new document. All right. So let's go ahead and get started that's a quick review of some of the items that I mentioned um, to you last week in order for you to know how to maneuver through learn key so step number one step number one says start a new blank document in Word 2019 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and open up Word when I open up Word I will be presented with the option to open up a blank document. So if your word opens up on this screen, what you are going to do is you are going to double click on blank document. If your word opened up on this screen, you're good to go because your word already opened up into the blank document. So now let's look at step number two, add your full name on the first line. So I'm just going to type my name.
step number three. On the second line, type your address. So I'm going to hit enter, and now I'm going to type my address. Step number four, on the third line, finish the address with your city, state, and postal code. Postal code means your zip code. So I'm gonna hit enter. And I'm going to type step number five skip a line and on the following line address the cover letter to the hiring manager if you do not know the name of the hiring manager begin with the salutation to whom it may concern so what I'm going to do is on my keyboard I'm going to hit the enter key two times and I'm going to type to whom I may concern. With a comma at the end. Now, just as a recap, if you see a job posted on a website, in a newspaper, on a flyer, and you want to send your resume in, sometimes they will tell you who to send your resume to. It may say, forward all inquiries or forward all resumes to Barbara Williams. And in that case, what you would do is, you would type right here, you would say, Dear Miss Williams. All right? However, if they did not say who to forward it to, then in that case, you would put to whom it may concern. All right? So, step number six. Below the addressee line, add an introductory sentence to the cover letter. So your cover letter, you send that in together with your resume because you are applying for a job. So the introductory sentence basically lets them know why you are sending your resume in. So I'm going to hit on the keyboard, uh, my enter key, and then I'm going to type my message. I hit the enter key two times and I'm going to type Okay, and I took this example, this sentence straight out of the video, but you can create your own sentence as well. So I typed, I am submitting my resume for consideration for the web design one position with your company. Okay, you may even want to add that was advertised on You can even do that. So I'll leave it that way. All right, because I saw the position advertised on a website called monster.com, which is actually a real website that you can go to to search for jobs when you're looking for a job. Okay, so now we are all the way here to step number seven, and then you just had to save. So I'll demonstrate how you were supposed to save your work. What I like to do so that I do not have to type over the name of the assignment all over again is I like to take my cursor, drag it over the name, right click, choose copy. And now while I'm in Word, I'm going to go to File, Save As. You need to make sure you know where you're saving your work. I have a folder that I save all of my work in, so that's the folder that I'm going to go to. And right here, I'm going to type my last name, my first name, my ID, and the name of the assignment. Remember, I copied it over here, so what I'm going to do is right click, paste. So one more time, make sure you know what folder you are saving your work in. The reason why is because when you go into Teams and you have to add your work, 
to the assignment so that you can click on turn in, you will need to navigate to that folder where you saved the work. At the bottom, make sure it says Word document. So it has to either say Word document or you may see an option that says dot docx. All right. And then you click save. And that assignment is done. So I have officially completed lesson one in LearnKey for Word 2019. All you have to do now is add it to your team's assignment and click turn in. I hope you found this very helpful. Please let me know and um, I'll see you for lesson two.